you've been featured as one of the top 100 Kenyans for the year 2020, which, which is, has been uh, done after an extensive research on the impact that you've made in society for the last one year. Uh, what was your first reaction when you heard that you're one of the most influential Kenyans of the year 2020? I was excited. Uh, excited for several reasons. One is this. Often when you come out to speak about something, there is the fear of uh, acceptability. But uh, that fear has never deterred me from speaking my mind. And I think whenever I make a post and uh, you, you pick it and you highlight it, you, you, you give it added life so that the people are often informed. But let me take you a little bit back. Sometime last year, when I started my campaign, uh, my media team told me, look, we need social media influencers to, 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 to help us put our agenda across. And then uh, they gave me an analysis of the most influential people then. And I think I must have been number, number two after a lie on the individual human beings. Forget about the, the corporates like you, national media, and so forth. Then when I saw that, I, said, I told them, look, I don't need a social media influencer. Uh, we'll just do this by ourselves. I've always uh, proceeded from the premise that uh, human beings, like any other animals, just require a leader. And the moment you put yourself out to lead, then the people will follow. Same with the social media. And I must uh, acknowledge the big role that the organization plays towards informing the public because you dwell upon ideas that mainstream media may not quickly jump on. jump on. <laughs> and you release it instantly. You get it? And that's the reason as to why when uh, when I received the text from Brian, I, I, I was excited. I was happy that uh, my efforts, which were not planned, have been acknowledged. And let me use an example that I used the other day when I was speaking to the students of a Catholic uh, university. I told them, you cannot be able to discern your own distinction. Somebody else must say. You see, in the wilderness, the elephant or the giraffe never realizes it's tall until other animals uh, indicate to them what achievements they have. So, look, your organization serves as a good mirror mm. to me and many other people who will want to be influencers. Let them understand that we are not bloggers. You are not bloggers. You play a fundamental role in shaping public opinion so that the work you do, the work I do, should not be belittled. It should be taken as a positive alternative to mainstream media. I'm therefore most delighted mm. to be acknowledged as one of uh, the top influencers 